Good morning, afternoon or evening, ladies and gentlemen, All in Crypto here. And today we are going to be talking about none other than Chainlink. Yesterday was a monumental day for Chainlink and indeed the Link token. We're going to be talking about why that is in this video or why that was. Um, and we're going to be looking at just how significant and much of a big deal the announcement that CCIP has officially been launched and is now live on Avalanche, Ethereum, Optimism, and Polygon, actually is not just for Chainlink itself, but for the crypto space as a whole. You guys will all be well aware that we are big fans of Chainlink. It's a coin that did exceptionally well for me in the last bull market. And I actually think that it's going to go above and beyond new all-time highs eventually, whether that takes one, two, three years. Who knows exact timeframes? Um, but I do think that Chainlink is... One of those projects that has a real world application. And actually, uh, it's certainly my belief that we're moving towards a new financial world that blockchain is at the heart of. Chainlink is going to be a fundamental part of that. And actually, CCIP may set the standards for interoperability throughout the entire crypto space in the same way that IP is a standard uh, and other such things. So we're going to get into all that. We're going to be playing um, a number of clips. Um, one, just explaining what CCIP is, which stands for Cross-Chain Interoperability Protocol. We're going to be looking at Chainlink's partnership with Swift. Now, Swift is uh, a big deal. We'll talk a little bit about that uh, and then talk about the token sort of usage within this uh, and then maybe do a little bit of looking at uh, a price chart for Chainlink and what's been going on. You know, it's been going essentially sideways for 427 days. When you break to the upside of this, which we believe is going to happen, you're going to see it do so with massive momentum and again we do believe Chainlink had an all-time high of around about $51 I think it's going to go above and beyond that eventually but that's just my own opinion so let's get into the actual announcement that took place yesterday the Chainlink cross-chain interoperability protocol CCIP has officially launched on Avalanche, Ethereum, Optimism and Polygon. Now in mainnet early access CCIP has been adopted by DeFi leaders such as Synthetix and Aave to unlock cross-chain economy. Synthetix is using CCIP to seamlessly transfer tokens across chain via a highly secure burn and mint model. With CCIP synth teleporters, now enable synth liquidity to flow towards areas of highest demand, bypassing the uh, constraints sorry, of traditional token bridges. Uh, BD BGD Labs is integrating CCIP into the Aave protocol to help secure Aave's cross-chain governance system, CCIP gas, efficiency, and time-based chaining infrastructure provides Aave multi-chain ecosystem with a sustainable and proven foundation for scale to new networks. Only July 20th, CCIP will become available to all developers across five testnets. So you can see they are the test nets um, and essentially is telling you to how how to come and build uh, if you want to integrate it and so on and so forth. So this is a, a big, big deal. This is, of course, Sergey talking about CCIP, just like key standards such as TCP and IP remade a fragmented early Internet into the single global Internet. We all know and use today we are making CCIP to connect the fragmented public blockchain landscape and the growing bank chain ecosystem into a single internet of contra contracts. Having a single way to use all smart contracts and transmit all value between them will be critical building blocks for blockchain powered society. Uh, and this of course is uh, maybe a bit of a visual representation. And not only can CCIP do this with the blockchain world, it can then trans sort of send into the traditional financial world. This is huge. You know, we, we spoke about CCIP. We spoke about just how much of a big deal an Oracle is to, to start. But it's kind of become old news now, even though it's still very relevant and fundamental to, to, to the entire blockchain space. CCIP is the evolution of that. Um, and I believe that in order for blockchain to get adoption, it's got to be easy to use. You're going to have to have one-stop interfaces. You know, we know that, uh, for example, Quant are doing a similar -ish thing. On the subject of Quant, I'm not sure how true this is. But breaking link in the first two minutes of being live CCIP has done more verifiable transactions than all of Quant's history. So I don't think Quant's actually been about for that long. I'm not sure how true that is. Um, but we know that they actually recently partnered with Swift 
uh, and we're gonna we're gonna look at a few clips here. So Swift and Chainlink will test connection over a dozen financial institutions to blockchain networks. We're gonna hear a little bit about this, and then we're gonna hear about Sergey actually explaining CCIP. So for many of you that are perhaps new to um, the crypto space and don't really understand what CCIP is, let's just play this short video actually explaining what it is and, and, and potentially why it's so relevant. We're quite proud and very excited to be announcing CCIP. So CCIP is something we've been working on for many years. In our initial white paper, we made it very clear that we want to support all leading smart contract networks for both off-chain and cross-chain interactions. And CCIP is similar to TCPIP and other protocols that seek to, 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 to provide connectivity and seek to make disparate different systems work under one messaging and under one communications standard. So CCIP is really about creating a global open source standard such as TCIP or others that will allow blockchains to interoperate with each other, will allow smart contracts from different blockchains to send each other commands, and obviously enable um, the movement of tokens between chains. And this is the final piece of the puzzle that we are now very, very focused on and have already been working on for years about how we want to enable a truly cross-chain set of smart contracts where all the different features of all the different blockchains and all of their different capabilities really need to be something that we give people access to. Because giving um, people and, and developers the ability to generate a smart contract on Ethereum use DeFi protocols on other chains, send a payment on a Hyperledger payment system, maybe get collateral in Bitcoin or, or, or do whatever complicated combination they want to do is, is something that will unlock an entire world of innovation in our industry. It will unlock an entire um, new set of applications that were previously not available and previously not possible. And that's why we're doing this. Absolutely huge. I mean, it really is uh, nothing short of huge. You know, CCIP is massive. Um, and again, can you imagine a world where you can, and this is kind of kind of like what Quant's doing, um, although Chainlink are very much, it's very different with the overledger system that Quant has and, and Quant actually isn't a blockchain. Um, this is just, you know, something that I'm very interested in, something that I think is absolutely magnificent uh, and is going to really shape the blockchain landscape. Now, Swift and Chainlink will test um, connections over a dozen financial institutions. We know that Swift and Chainlink are working together. Uh, this came out only last month. We covered it on the channel. Um, for the likes of Banking Group Limited, DNP, uh, Poribus, BNY Mellon, City, Clearstream, Euroclear, and Lloyd's Banking Group. Um, let's play a clip of them talking about the SWIFT partnership and then we'll move on to a number of other things. This is absolutely huge, ladies and gentlemen. And again, it's going to shape the entire cryptocurrency landscape. Just to kick this off, we're going to begin talking about cross-chain. And in regards to that, um, you know, just to set the stage, I'm very happy to announce that we are working on an initial proof of concept together with SWIFT on the use of CCIP. In, in the capital markets to enable uh, communications and movement of tokens between you know, a number of different institutions in a way that'll uh, accelerate the adoption of DLT, blockchains, and benefit various institutions all over the um, capital markets. Um, in that regard, I think we'll just start discussing cross-chain, and uh, I'd be thrilled to hear uh, Jonathan's views on the importance of cross-chain and how communication between chains and institutions in a multi-chain world could could look and, and, and work. Yeah, so thank you, Sergey, and thank you for the invite. Let, let me start maybe because I I know you know not everybody is aware about Swift, mm -hmm. uh, but I will I will try to explain it very quickly. So Swift is a cooperative, is an international cooperative. Uh, we run perhaps the biggest network in financial services today for capital markets, for payments, for FX, for trade. Uh, we are headquartered in Belgium, although we have uh, uh, sort of operations everywhere. Um, 
And we have around 11,000 banks that are connected to SWIFT today. They exchange financial information in the most secure, reliable, and scalable way. All right, so that's, that's what, just to frame it that. The second piece is that the, the, the POC that we're doing, it's, 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 it's the end of a long story, right? I think five or seven years ago was the first time uh, Swift and Chainlink started working together. Uh, you were actually one of the first uh, startups that we uh, bet on. You won the startup challenge that we used to have a long time ago. And then even before blockchain was something that financial services had in their minds, uh, I don't think no at the time, nobody was doing anything on blockchain, on financial services. Swift and Chainlink worked together on the first POC that we did on bond issuance and redemption. It was quite successful. And that, that was maybe the, uh, the first steps of this sort of love story between Swift and Chainlink, yeah, which continues today. Wow, love story between Swift and Chainlink. Phenomenal, guys. Uh, absolutely phenomenal. Um, this is a big deal, and, and and actually, what people don't realize is one of the main criticisms that, and we've always sort of rebutted against it, is that Chainlink has no use case at the actual link token. Um, it does, and actually, with CCIP, you will need to pay fees in link to use their CCIP protocol. This is huge. I mean, this is nothing short of huge. Um, it really is, uh, and, and and just to sort of wrap things up with a little bit on the price, you know, you'll all know, I'm sure, that we hold Chainlink, uh, and that we actually think Chainlink is going to do exceptionally well. Chainlink has been in a range now for 427 days. It's actually probably more than that, 434 days, um, and ultimately this is ready to break out. Uh, and if you understand market structure, we just released a course on Patreon. Uh, where we look at four stages of a market very helpful very simple guide to understanding markets and, and and how to play them in terms of stages that they may or may not be in but this is just waiting to move into what we would call stage two and then it's full systems go you know Chainlink is going to be an absolute goliath you are getting divergences and positive signs across the board despite this range which actually on the news uh the, the kind of Gensler news did go on and put in a new low deviation you've come back up and you're now flirting with um a number of things that, that that we think, you know, you clear this top end of the range convincingly. In my opinion, it's a matter of time before Chainlink is back at new all-time highs. I don't want to fill anybody up with too much enthusiasm, but I genuinely do believe that. Could I be wrong on that call? Absolutely. Um, but we will see. Ultimately, as always, with everything that I say on this channel, my money is where my mouth is well and truly. Um, and we are expecting upside for Chainlink eventually. And actually, it's going to be very explosive and you know, it's just an amazing project that I think is going to be fundamental to the traditional financial world meeting the uh, blockchain world. On that note, I'm going to love and leave you. If you enjoy the content, like us, appreciate it, as a comment, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. See you in the next.